What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we me full Pokemon Heroes the Movie Team. We're continuing the Pokemon uh, movie teams, and today we're going to be looking at the Pokemon Heroes movie. Now, this movie was introduced and released on the 13th of July 2002. So that was uh, that was 20 years ago. Wow, I would have been I would have been 12 years old then. What like what age were you when this movie came out? There's got to be this person that's been like, yo, Pip Knight, I wasn't even born yet. There's got to be that one person. Anyway, let's get into uh, these uh, three battles today with the Pokemon movies team. First battle here, this is against uh, Marinette, and we have a Totodile versus Pelipolite. So things are getting a little bit uh, uh, rainy around here. Now, people, I will be doing a triple upload tonight, so. This will be, this is a second video. So earlier on, I did a Pidgey Evolution team. Make sure you've seen that. And after this, I will be doing another video to make the three videos uh, for today. I haven't actually uh, able to upload the last couple of days. So just sort of making up uh, for that content there. So I hope you're hyped for a triple upload. So we got the Pelipper setting the rain up and swapping out here. And we got the Empoleon coming in, setting up the Stealth Rocks. Now this Totodile really can't do a lot here to Empoleon. It's, uh, it's kind of walled, and I didn't really want to swap into any other Pokemon. Now, this set is going to be a Dragon Claw, Waterfall, Ice Punch, and Flail set. I've got the ability Torrent, uh, Focus Sash as the item, Max Health, sorry, Max Attack, and Max Speed, Jolly Nature. Um, I was actually trying to get a Freeze Axe on Empoleon. Unfortunately, even though it had moves that were sort of like uh, not very effective at all, uh, it was sort of still sort of hitting uh, Totodile really, really hard. So I was going to be losing this matchup definitely unless I got like a lucky freeze. I possibly would have swapped in if I did get the freeze. So bye-bye, Toto. Not a lot I could have done there. Now, the rain is going to stop too, and I'm going to be swapping in uh, Pikachu here. Now, Pikachu is on all of these, uh, you know, these Pokemon movie teams, right? Um, I tried to keep the set the same as I did on Sword and Shield because these moves were actually, you know, in the anime. I might update them, but I thought... That's sort of appropriate. So this set is uh, Thunderbolt, Iron Tail, Quick Attack, and Agility, Max Attack, and Max Special Attack, Naive Nature. So you're probably you know, quite uh, familiar with the EVs on this Pikachu because I've used it nearly every single uh, you know movie team. So uh, Impilot is going to fake there to a T-Bolt, and Pikachu is going to take it out easily. So next Pokemon is going to be the Pelipper. Now Pelipper is four times weak to Electric. It's like, okay... Either Pelipper's going to get one shot at here, or Pelipper's going to outspeed me and take me out with some sort of water-type move. You know, or e heck, even like a hurricane. So outspeeding the Pelipper, is like, okay, this is great. This is going to be good. I can fight the Pelipper. And Pelipper has got a Focus Sash. Of course it does, you know. So now Pelipper is going to go for a Tailwind here. The good thing about this Pikachu set, I did actually opt to put Quick Attack on it. So it's actually going to come in quite handy here because I can take the... Uh, Fell up down to the sash and finish it off with quick attack, bypassing uh, you know that tailwind there. You know, tailwind doesn't last for a very long time either. So yeah, that was a good KO. Next Pokemon is going to be Kingdra, and since this is like a rain team, uh, you can obviously you can see that it's a rain team. This is uh, yeah, very very scary Pokemon. So I was contemplating some things for a second, like maybe Kingdra will set up like a Focus Energy. Maybe we'll go for a Dragon Dance thinking it can probably live a Pikachu's attack. Maybe I should go for, uh, not go for Quick Attack, but go for a Thunderbolt instead. Unfortunately, Kingdra is just going to get rid of my Pikachu right away and faint it there. So he easily could have gone for a status move there. That's why I went for that. So man, th this thing's life orb in the rain too. This is uh, this is no joke. So we're going to be swapping in the Latias here. I'm going to take some uh, more Stealth Rock damage here. This is the uh, Latias. I mean, Latias kiss, um, kiss Ash in this movie, right? Like, I, I seen this thing, like, I was, I was doing some, uh, just looking up on it. I always like to do some research on these sort of topics before I do videos. Um, it was like, people were, like, saying that Bianca kissed him, but it was, it was Latios, right? Because that was a transformation. Like, I'm pretty sure, unless there's some, like, so, some crazy theories going around. Anyway, if someone knows anything about that, let me know in the comment section, of course, of the video. Now, uh, we got this uh, Dragon Pulsing Kingdra. The only good thing my Latios was able to do there was paralyze the uh, Kingdra. It's got a track in there, obviously, because, you know, we're going to try and uh, do some attracting uh, combination there with Thunder Wave. You know, since Latios did the kiss as well, I thought that'd be quite uh, appropriate. So, unfortunately, Latios, it didn't live that, but it did get the paralyzed. The rain is all dried up now, so the coast is clear to send in the Aerodactyl. This is a, uh, a special set. It's actually quite a good thing it is a special set, because I can go for a super effective Dragon Pulse. This is a Choice Specs Aerodactyl. We've got Choice Specs Pressure uh, as the ability in item. We've got Hyper Beam, Fire Blast, Ancient Power, and Dragon Pulse. Kingdra is going to get dropped by the Dragon Pulse there, which is good. 
Uh, that actually really, really saved me, uh, that Paralyze. So I've got Max Special Attack and Max Speed, Modest Nature. I had to run Modest Nature because this thing does struggle with damage output, even with the choice specs. Next comes the uh, Rotom Washi up. I really don't want to swap in my any of my Pokemon um, on my team, so I decided to go for the Dragon Pulse here. Now, Dragon Pulse still did a pretty good amount of damage. It, it looks to be about a 3, possibly a 4 here, KO. Uh, now, Rotom's going to go for a will o -Wisp on my Aerodactyl, maybe expecting a swap, or maybe expecting our running a mix set there. One of those two reasons, right? So, Aerodactyl is going to go for another Dragon Pulse here, since I am running the uh, Choice Specs. Uh, Rotom is going to get hit pretty hard with that, so it looks like to be a, uh, a, a 4 here, KO, right? Judging on the first amount of damage that I've done. So it's going to go for Shadow Ball there. Clearly, it doesn't have a water type move, so it must be some sort of uh, just support set. I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse here. And you know what? It was actually enough to take it out. I thought they will live. So I, I, it looks like I got a max damage there. Maybe they didn't want to risk the Hydra Pump miss as well and getting like no damage rather than getting you know, some damage uh, compared to none. Uh, next Pokemon to come at it is going to be Starmie, another very threatening uh, Pokemon there, very fast. Uh, very high special attacker. Now, since I was running Modest Nature on Aerodactyl, like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to outspeed this if they are running Timid. And yeah, I'm going to outspeed. That was the price of running Modest, but it was all good. I probably needed that extra bit of base power to take out the Kingdra earlier on. So uh, one thread is gone, another appears. So we're going to bring in the uh, Lati, not the Lati, I'm going to use that, the Aridos. So Aridos is going to be a, a sniper critting set. This is actually fairly powerful, but the thing about this is you need to set up the focus energy to get that 100% crit chance, and then you'll get the sniper boost. So at this stage, I wasn't confident I could live a hit, so I went for the Sucker Punch, and Starmie gets dropped there. Not only did I get a crit, I got the boost from Sniper too, so that was excellent. Um, I, I still feel like I would have done a lot of damage regardless with the Sucker Punch. Maybe Starmie would have lived it badly. Last Pokemon is going to be the Milotic here. Now, Milotic um, is quite bulky. I thought I could go for the Focus Energy and then go for a Sucker Punch. So Milotic's going to go for a Scaldia. Um, it actually upburns me, which is very, very unfortunate. So that sort of gets around my whole strategy of hitting very hard. I mean, I still would do some sort of damage here, but, uh, you know, pretty much it is ruined. So this was a Max Elf Max Attack set too, if I didn't uh, mention that already. We got uh, Focus Energy, Shadow Sneak, Sucker Punch. Good for priority because Aridos is very, very slow. And Leech Slide. This is the best set on my team, I'd say. Easy the best set. And it works pretty well. I gave it max health because that's that's sort of what you need to live a focus energy. And it does rely a little bit on the status. Like it's, it's, it's speedier moves too there. But you sort of need that status off there to get the 100% crit and the uh, sniper at the same time. If you don't have that, you're sort of uh, like just hoping. So it's best to get that 100% chance. So we're going to bring in Latios here. It is a physical set. D-Claw. Uh, we got Zen Headbutt, Earthquake, and Steel a wing. We got uh, Soul Dew as the item, max attack and max speed, Adam and Nature. Uh, Milotic actually takes that fairly well because, you know, it is Milotic. And it also has a Dragon Pulse there. Latias has got some pretty nice bulk to it, so it's able to live Milotic's attack. I can finish the Milotic off there with a nice little uh, Dragon Claw. It almost, it's sort of like a big scratch, and then Milotic is going to faint. And that, my friends, is the very first battle. Hope you enjoyed that. That was like a, a rainy team there. Quite scary. Let's get on to battle number two. This is a battle against. Uh, H HSZ, or uh, I'm not sure if this, this might be a random battle I did. I can't quite remember because I did this a little bit ago. Uh, first Pokemon is going to be a Fly God versus the Totodile. Now, I've got Ice Punch, which is a pretty good sign. And I thought, well, I don't think my opponent will swap out here. Uh, let's go for Ice Punch. Let's get that, uh, you know, very powerful four times attack. I should be able to take out the Fly God. Flygon, however, is going to swap out, but before it swaps out, it's going to go for U-turn. So it's going to be able to get some damage off there, you know, breaking my uh, Focus Sash. So in comes Lucario here. Unfortunately, Lucario is going to be able to resist my Ice Punch, so I'm not going to do any damage at all. So I was like, please freeze, but it, you know, it never happens. So when you hope for freeze, it never, ever happens. When you don't hope for it, you know, it happens. That, that's sort of how it works for me, right? Now, Lakari is going to get some uh, leftovers recovery there. So it's like a, uh, I don't know, like a bulky Lakari. Uh, now it's going to go for a nasty plot. This is going to be very, very nasty, people, because, you know, Lakari is a good physical attacker, you know, a good special attacker. It's, it's got good moves for either. It's got sword dance, it's got a you know, nasty plot, good physical moves, good special moves. You can even run bulky too. So it's a, it, it's a very versatile Pokemon, Lakari. So now it's got a half tail back. It's going to go for a dragon pulse here. That is bad because, you know, when you look at my team, there's two Pokemon that are weak to that, and uh, Toadot was going to faint. I need to take this Lakara out. Now, the only Pokemon on my team that actually has a chance to take Lakara out here, otherwise I'm going to get swept, is Aerodactyl. So we're going to be swapping that in right away. 
Now, I've got Fire, uh, fire Blast here. I just hope that I can outspeed and uh, take it out. Aerodactyl still has pretty good, damn good speed, even though I am running a mod. It's nature. So go for that Fire Blast, outspeeding and landing on the Lucario. I, I, I reckon I've... Just looking at my team right there, I'd say it would have had, like, would it have Aura Sphere. I reckon that would be another move that had, you know, we have uh, moves for pretty much Dragon Pulse. My team could have actually lost there to that Lakara if it didn't have Aerodactyl. Next Pokemon, we got another Empoleon here, and I'm like, well, I, I've got Fire Blast. That'll do... It should be like a three-hit KO, depending on what sort of bulk we got in Empoleon. If it's a sweeping set, it should be fine. Uh, so go for Fire Blast. It's not going to miss, which is good there. And you got a really good quality damage there. It's a three-hit KO. Uh, now we got the Empoleon. Go for an Ice Beam on like uh, my uh, Aerodactyl. Doesn't take it out, but excellent damage. It's also got leftovers as well. So this is like some uh, bulky vocal one. Interesting. So leftovers on the Lucario and the Impolo. Now I'm sort of curious what uh, item the uh, the Flygon has. Maybe uh, maybe it's also got our uh, leftovers. So now we can go for another Fire Blast here. Good damage on Polion. I've sort of softened it up now so I can bring another Pokemon in to take it out. It's going to go for Brian. Very nice uh, using Brian there. Brian is going to get a double base power there. So no way Aerodactyl is you know, ever going to live that. Uh, very sort of underrated move, Brian. But difficult to use because you have to get the opponent at half health or less. Now what I'm going to do here is bring in the uh, Aridos. I thought... I know that I can limit an attack for Empoleon, and then I could possibly go for a Sucker Punch to take it out. I don't think that Shadow Seek will take it out, because Empoleon's got some pretty good bulk on the defensive side. And, uh, yeah, that's my thought process. So, Empoleon's going to go for a Flash Cannon. He hits me very hard. I am running max health, though, so I probably live that, like, a lot better than, you know, max speed Aridos. I, I really don't think there's a lot of point running speed EVs on Aridos at all, right? With the with the set that I... I reckon this is the best Aridos set that you can run. I, like, real talk, like, um, competitive set. Th th this works very, very well. I don't think you'll get a better set than this, actually. Uh, max health, max attack, Adam and Nature, and, you know, with the Shadow Sneak and the Sucker Punch priority, works very, very nicely. So I've got the Leech Scythe there, which I can go for later. Go for the Sucker Punch. That's the end of Empoleon. So excellent sort of damage there. 100% crit and Sniper on top of us is doing excellent damage. Uh, next Pokemon here is going to be the Perugly. Oh, lots of love parts there. Uh, Perugly could have uh, Fake Out, then a normal type move to follow it up. Or it could go for a status move here. I wasn't really sure. I was like, you know what? If it does go for Fake Out, it's going to go for it. Let's go for Leech Life anyway. I want to see what it's going to do. So it's going to go for the Home Claws there. Probably predicting I'd go for the Sucker Punch because, you know, Progly is easily going to be able to outspeed me. The problem about this is I sort of predicted that would ha could happen. Not Maybe not 100%, but I think there was a chance there. So I went for the Leech Life. Plus, I wanted to get some of my health back too. Progly is going to get all its health drain there. It's going to get one shot at, and I got a lot of my health back. So Aridos is in a really, really powerful position right now. Now, I know that's what this Miss Mag is in, knowing that I've got Sucker Punch. So I haven't revealed Shadow Sneak yet. So I'm guessing they're going to go for like maybe Will O' Wisp. So I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak here. Now, Miss Magus' defense is very, very poor, and I've got 100% crit and sniper. That's the end of the Miss Magus. So you can see here how effective the uh, the scope lens 100% uh, crit sniper set is. It's really, really got through this team. Next Pokemon here is going to be the Flygon. Uh, Flygon can probably leave all of my moves bar Leech Life. I know that I can take it out with a Leech Life here, but I was a little bit worried that it might have Dragon Dance. So I decided to go for the uh, Shadow Seek here uh, just in case, because I didn't want to let it get set up on me. So Shadow Seek does some great damage there on Flygon. Flygon, instead of going for that, it's going to go for a Dragon Claw. So Dragon Claw does pretty good damage there. Since Once again, since I am running Max Self, that's a benefit of running Max Self. I'm living that very nicely. So it's got this Shell Bell as a So we've got two leftover users and a Shell Bell. Now I play things extraordinarily safe here. I just went for Shadow Seek again. I could have easily gone for Sucker Punch and taken out the Flygon. But once again, I want to play it safe there because I didn't want this thing to get a Dragon Ants up. When you look at the rest of my team, if this thing had like plus one at a Dragon Claw, it would not have been very, very good. Like I potentially would have like... It could have easily lost. So that's it of Aridos there. I've got the I've got enough Pokemon uh, like back anyway. If something bad you know, did happen. So I've got Lardis here with their track confusion set. I'm gonna go for confusion here on the Flygon. Flygon's gonna go for U-turn uh, instead of go for Dragon Claw. I guess they figured that well, one Dragon Claw won't be enough to take out the Latios, oh, and I'll get some free shell build, you know, recovery here and swap another Pokemon in. So Flygon's going to swap out, and Roserade is going to come in. Unfortunately, Roserade is going to get hit by a Psychic-type move. It's only Confusion, but it still does a fair bit of damage to it. So it's, a, it's like a... Uh, it's virtually nearly a two... I'd say it's a two-hit KO, judging on the damage. I may have got... 
you know, I may have got a max damage there. So I decided to go for the attract there in case I did get a max damage and see if we can get uh, Roserade to fall in love. We'll just pretend that Roserade is Ash Ketchum right now, getting, the, you know, getting that kiss, right? Is that the first kiss that Ash has gotten in Pokemon? I've got to think. Hmm. Did Misty lay one on him? Misty lay one on him or what? I don't know. Is that the first kiss that Ash, like, Ash has ever received? Like... I know he's got like kisses from him. Like, you don't don't count his mum either. Like don't count uh, Ash's mum. I'm sure there's uh actually matter of fact, I feel like I've done a theme team on like Ash's girlfriend's team. I really feel that I've done that team. Yeah, I have. I have done that team. So if you want to see Ash's romance, you can check out the uh, Ash Ketchum. I think it's Ash Ketchum's partner or girlfriend team. You can check that out. If you, leave, you know what? If you leave a comment on the video, I'll hit you with one of those little hard things. So that's going to be the end of the Rose Raid there. Takes to my confusion uh, combination. Last Pokemon, as we already know, is the Flygon. So I assume they just swapped the Flygon in there. Uh, so I take, a, I guess, a little bit of damage, then they try and stop him out with a Drain Claw. Bright Powder comes into effect here. Latias', is, uh, Latias is the item is Bright Powder, but unfortunately, my confusion uh, doesn't take out uh, the Flygon. Very, very low uh, base power there. Plus, I'm not running any special attack EVs. If I haven't said the EVs already, I've got a Max Health, Max Defensive set here, and I've got uh, Bold Nature. And yeah, that's the that's the, uh, the Latias set. And I've got Bright Powder as the item. So you've got Attract, Confusion, and Thunder Wave all working together as one. Unfortunately, there, Flygon was able to live that attack. Now, my last Pokemon here is going to be the Latios. I'm going to outspeed the Flygon and go for the Dragon Claw. And that is the end of the Flygon. I was actually contemplating sending a Pikachu there with a uh, Quick Attack, too. I had a couple of options there then. But thank you for the battle, uh, HSZ. Let's get on to uh, battle number three. Let's do this. All right, people, let's get on to the third and final battle. This is a battle against uh, Skylar, and we have a Parasect lead here. The Parasect is uh, looking fresh and shiny. I'm going to be leaning with my Aerodactyl here, which is a very, very good matchup for me. Now, Parasect probably most definitely has Spore. But I've got Fire Blast. That's going to absolutely roast the Parasite. I don't think it's going to be staying in regardless because, like, of any, like, that's flying type weakness. So we got the Golem coming in here. And Golem is going to be able to live by Fire Blast very, very easy. Let me know if you can guess what this theme team here as well. It's uh, pretty cool. So uh, Fire Blast does nothing to Golem. I'm locked into that. I've got to swap out. So uh, swapping that Aerodactyl out. And now we're going to go into the Totodile because I do have Waterfall and, you know, Ice Punch. So it's going to be a special set. Go for the Focus Mist on my Totodile. I was like, I wonder if this will take me down to my Sash. And it did. So it might be Choice Specs. It is possible. Then again, Totodile isn't exactly what you call bulky. Now, Golem is going to be swapping out here. I thought Parasect may come in. However, it's going to be the Starmie here. Wait, is this the second? I think this is the second Starmie. Yeah, it's the second Starmie. We had another Starmie and then another Starmie. So go for Waterfall there. Waterfall still does pretty good damage on the Starmie. Uh, now this Starmie is going to go for a Grass Knot here. And that is going to be the end of the Totodile. So that's all good. I mean, I could have gone for... Oh, I could have probably gone for a flail there, but I, I, I wasn't really sure whether I should overpredict or not. So we're going to go into Aridos here. Uh, we got the Starmie swapping out here, and we've got the... Whoa, what's Pearl? What's this coming in? This is all oh, the Clam Pearl. This is really interesting. So what I did here is I went for the Shadow Steve to take out the Starmie, but uh, obviously the Clam Pearl is going to live that very well. Now, I went for the Focus Engine to get my 100% crit chance, and the Clam Pearl I can see is very, very defensive, and it's going to be going for a Whirlpool, so spinning my Aridos uh, right round. Now, the cool thing here about uh, Clam Pearl, it actually sort of shut my set down a little bit because I went for the Leech Life here. I was like, okay, that's hardly any damage, and I didn't get a critical hit. So the uh, Pokemon's ability is going to be Shell Armor, which is preventing the critical hit. So it's then preventing that critical hit damage and the, getting the Sniper Boost. So it's trapping me in like big time. Like, this would be even more of a threat with uh, Everlight. Um, I think I believe that I've run a Everlight one a very, very long time ago, but they, it was extremely bulky and they're uh, pretty fun to use. I did. I think I've done this with like Cloyster with Clamp as well. It actually works very nicely on the defensive side. So I'm going to be trapped in here with a uh, combination of Whirlpool and uh, Skull there. Go for a Shadow Seek, finish off the Clamp, but boy, that was really, really bulky. That would have been like even more impressive with a Everlight attached to it. Next Pokemon to come in here. It's going to be Geodude. So we got Golem and Geodude on one team, which is nice. Actually, I need to do this team. I need to, like, do, like, Geodude and Gravel and Golem. 
you know what I was waiting for? I was waiting for all the uh, Alola forms to come back in the game. That's why I haven't done it for. So that's going to be the end of Aridos there to a stone miss. And in comes the Aerodactyl here. So what I'm going to do here is go for Dragon Pulse. Did I say Aerodactyl? I mean Aridos before. So go for the Dragon Pulse on the Geodude. Geodude's got the sturdy ability. And now it's going to be eating a berry, which is going to be the Lychee Berry. Boosting its attack by one stage. Like, uh-oh. I hope this doesn't land. And it does land. And Aerodactyl is going to get dropped in one shot there. Uh, very, very powerful move on the Stone Edge. And plus one in attack too. So bye-bye, Aerodactyl. We're going to go up to Pikachu now. At least I can go for the quick attack here and clean up the sturdy Pokemon. Look, they're both very, very yellow. I hope that all the Geodudes are in uh, Gen 9. I re actually really, really want to do that, team. Plus, I like the ability uh, Galvanize on uh, Golem, too. Very cool. You can go for that uh, you know, that electric explosion. Next Pokemon is going to be Parasite. Go for the Iron Tail with the assistance of Melmetal. And I got that defense drop, which is excellent. However, Parasect is going to be going for a Spore, putting my Picker Picker uh, to sleep there. Now, if Parasect has got any form of you know, decent attacking move, even if it's special, Pikachu is going to get dropped. However, the Parasect is going to swap out there, probably due to the defense drop, and uh, in comes the Starmie here. So I need to wake up from this spore and go for a Thunderbolt. If I do, you know, Starmie will most definitely go down here. Now, Starmie's going to have Dream Eater out of all the moves to have. It's going to steal my Pikachu's dreams and drop me. Now, Dream Eater's got some nice base power too, and Pikachu is not, is not bulky at all. So bye-bye, Pikachu. It fainted in its sleep. That's very, very sad. Imagine fainting in your sleep. So we got the uh, next Pokemon is Latios. We got the Starmie swapping out here. I've only actually got Latios and Latios left. So I'm really doing the Pokemon hero scene at the moment. So in comes the uh, Parasect here. I just went for a, uh, a Thunder Wave here. Trying to slow that Starmie down a little bit. It's very, very dangerous. So I paralyze the, uh, the Parasect. Now, I can go for Confusion here. Confusion's not going to take Parasect down. I feel like it's going to be like two hits. Uh, so, it's actually, in fact, it's like, it looks like it's three hits almost. So, Parasect is going to get paralyzed there. Then it gets a Quick Claw activation, and it's going to hit me with the X Scissor. Like, uh oh, that does a lot of damage. And, uh, you know, it's a clean two hit KO on my Latios right there. Uh, so, go for another Confusion on the Parasect, and that is going to be enough to take it out. Thank goodness. Imagine if it lived there on one health and then got a Quick Attack. Uh, sorry, no, Quick Attack, a Quick Claw. That was a crit too. That's the only reason I fainted it. Uh, next Pokemon is the Starmie. We're, we know this has got Dream Eater, and it's going to go for a Water Gun. A Water Gun Starmie. Absolutely wonderful there. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave to try and slow this Starmie down. I had no idea what, you know, what other moves that it was actually going to have. I'm actually due to almost be doing a Star, you and Starmie team in the future there. So uh, a little bit of a bonus there for people that are still watching. So next Pokemon is the uh, Latios here. It's going to get a Paralyze again on Starmie, which is great. I'm going to go for a Drag to finish this thing. And excellent damage here on Starmie. Starmie's also going to go for another Water Gun. So it doesn't have any other, like, I guess it's sort of like a trolling set there. But it's got Dream Eater and Water Gun. Very, uh... Very difficult. To, and Grass Knot. That's like an interesting set. Grass Knot, Dream Eater, and Water Gun. Interesting. So next Pokemon here is going to be the uh, Marowak. That's a good name for Marowak. Uh, Marowak has got good defense. So I knew Zen Head, but wouldn't one-shot it. I was going to try and like attempt to flinch it right. Now, uh, Marowak's going to go for a Rock Head Double Edge. Almost taking my Latias out in one shot here. I was praying I could get the flinch there and bring in Latias. Possibly if I didn't. And it is going to take me out there. So bye-bye, uh, Latias. You did a pretty good job there. Now I can bring in my Latias us and take out the Marowak. Uh, it only has a bit of health left, which is good because I've only got Confusion, which isn't exactly what you call powerful. So go for that Confusion there on the Marowak, and that is going to be taking it out. Last Pokemon is the Golem we've seen before, the special Golem. So all we've seen this Golem use is, uh, is Focus Mist. That's it, right? And uh, now I can go for the Confusion. I was hoping I could get a Confusion here to try and uh, take it out and maybe three hits. And no Confusion happened. Golem's going to pop a Hyper Beam there, firing it right out of its uh, its head, basically, or its face. And Latios is going to be fighting. And that is the end of the third battle. Really cool theme team there. And I hope you enjoyed that one, people. Peace out.